a and Brochure Logging was originally formed in the late 60s by our father, Adrian, and our uncle, Andre. They bought a small logging operation from their father, so we're technically the third generation in the logging business. We decided to get back into logging a couple of years ago. We brought the a and Brochure name back. My brother and I, we weren't involved in the business at all um, until later on in life. And in uh, 2004, our father wanted to purchase a sawmill and asked us to come back and, and run it. And that's how Chris and I got into the business. We expanded into multiple mills and then of course got into logging. We also have a retail division where we've got uh, 14 retail stores right now throughout Maine. So that's, that's grown quite a lot. One of the biggest challenges is trying to keep a vibrant company going in a real competitive environment. Our favorite part of the business is to be able to run a company where we can invest in the people and the equipment. You know, that's the most fun part by far. We've got an incredible young workforce and, and we're doing everything we can to recruit people into it. As the workforce ages, you know, we're, we're trying to bring as many young people as we can to take their place and, you know, really look towards the future. With the technology we have now, you know, it, it's interesting to them. Most of the new equipment we bought recently is John Deere. Some of the technology that exists in the John Deere is really useful, and we're just tapping into that right now. We're starting to really use timber management and timbermatic programs. The reporting of machine health and the reporting of uh, where you left, you know, piles of wood is, um, it's making me think that anything that's not a John Deere machine is almost a detriment for what, where I really want the company to go. Losing wood in heavy snow, never ever getting to the mill, wasted fiber. During the summer, you know, very high quality veneer logs getting spoiled because they weren't forwarded fast enough. You can identify those high quality, high value pieces of wood. You know, at the harvester, to tell the forwarder, go get this first. The forwarder time is much more productive as well because you're not searching, you're not, uh, flailing about trying to find wood, you know exactly where it is. It allows you to plan your week in a way that if you can't do it if you don't have that technology. You basically cover the state of Maine. The larger you get, the more quickly information needs to flow. The more quickly you need to know when there's a problem. We are just starting to scratch the surface on what we're capable of with, with the John Deere Timber Manager and Timbermatic.